we have a goal or a purpose in heaven to keep serving the Lord? And I think the answer to that is very clear. Yes, we will. And here's how we know this. And, and again, uh, let me make a clarification. Otherwise, it might not make sense to some of you. Um, there is the present heaven that people go to when they die, okay? Uh, the people who know Jesus. But the people who are in heaven are awaiting the resurrection. And so once Christ returns with them, their bodies are raised, and then whoever's alive on the earth who knows Jesus, then their old body will become the new body in, in resurrection that's immediate on the spot. And now we'll be resurrected. Okay, and we'll be on an earth, and a lot of people believe, I'm one of them, that there'll be a thousand year kingdom of God on the old earth, but it ends badly in rebellion. Uh, but then comes the new earth, and on the new earth, we're told in Revelation uh, tw 22, his servants will serve him. All right, so that's the answer to the question. His servants will serve him. Now, does, does that mean that someone who's in the presence of Jesus right now has no job or duty or whatever? I'm not saying that, but they're not living in, in a physical realm with resurrected bodies that would lend itself as much to what it means to be, fully be a human being and to live on the earth and serve the Lord. Lord. But that's exactly what Revelation 22 says, his servants will serve him. Servants have things to do, places to go, people to see. Servants are active. They're not sitting around doing nothing. But on this new earth without a curse, everything we do will be enjoyable and meaningful. It will be the best we ever experience in this life without any of the worst. 